Hello, welcome back to Creepy Places Global. Currently I'm on hold, despite what the phone looks like. I'm talking to my friend William in London. Um, I just want to quickly tell you before we start talking about um, some royalty stuff, that uh, our next video, it takes place in Wales at a place called Ogmore Castle. Yes, William, yes. So, anyway, I gotta go, bye. Ogmore Castle is a ruined 12th century castle located off of Ogmore Road near the River Oweni in Glamorgan, Wales. Also called Castel Ogdwar, the history of the place is a little muddy, but construction of the castle is believed to have begun in 1106, originally made of timber, and was given to William du Long before 1116. William du Long was one of the legendary 12 knights of Glamorgan followers of Robert Fitzhamon. Fitzhamon was born around 1055 and was part of the Norman conquest of England which started in 1066. After assisting in putting down the rebellion of 1088, Fitzhamon was made feudal baron of Gloucester by King William II. Soon after receiving that position, he led the invasion and eventual conquest of Glamorgan. After the conquest, Fitzhamon gave each of his 12 loyal knights a piece of land, with William du Long receiving the area around Ogmore. Sometime in 1116, du Long did leave the castle when he came under siege by Welsh troops. But the castle remained in the family with his son, Maurice, creating Oblong Keep around 1120, becoming the first masonry structure in the complex. More stonework was done after 1200 by Thomas du Long, when he replaced the timber palisade with stone. Over time, more of the timber was replaced with stone. Eventually, the castle and land goes into ownership to Sir Patrick du Chadwyff of Kidwelly, West Wales, after Thomas's daughter, Haywise, marries him. His daughter, through a second marriage, Maud, marries Henry, 3rd Earl of Leicester and Lancaster, sometime around March 2nd, 1297. Sometime after 1345, the castle goes into ownership of Henry of Grossmont, 1st Duke of Lancaster. From then on, the castle becomes the center of administration of justice for the Earls of Lancaster. The castle did suffer damage in 1405 during the Glendwer Rising, led by Owain Glendwer, that happened from 1400 to 1415. Soon after, a rectangular stone building was built next to the castle that served as a courthouse up until 1803. Most of the castle's main purpose ceased to exist around the 16th century. Today, the castle is under the care of Codwa, Welsh historical monuments, and is free to the public. In terms of hauntings, the castle is said to be haunted by the Ur Ladien, or the White Lady. In Celtic mythology, the White Lady is a form of boogeyman that is evoked to warn children about bad behavior. She appears terrifying and asks for help at times, and at Algmore Castle, she is said to guard the castle's treasures. According to the story, a man came across the White Lady and demanded to know where the treasure was. She took him to the spot, and it was full of golden guineas. The white lady told him to only take half and leave the rest, in which the man did just that. However, one evening, the man returned for the rest of the treasure. He filled his pockets with gold and then began to leave the castle. As he was leaving, the white lady appeared and accused him of being a thief. He denied it, and then she forced him to remove his coat. In doing so, the money rattled and fell out. The white lady then viciously attacked him with her claws. He escaped, but was badly injured. Soon afterward, he was taken ill, and gradually became worse until he wasted away. Nobody knew what his illness was, but people began to say his illness was the white lady's revenge. Now, here is Ogmore Castle. Well, we made it to Ogmore Castle after getting lost a little bit because <laughs> it was not easy to find. It's a 
big ruins. We're gonna go explore. We're gonna enter in a second and go look around. There's like horses and sheep and cows and horses and more horses all over the place. There's another part. See? We actually um, we had to be careful when we were turning down here because we didn't want to run over the uh, people with the horses. <laughs> And here's where I'm on. I'm on stepping stones in the middle of the water. Wasn't gonna cross anymore. Yeah, I got it. Yes, Andrew told me I had to go step out in the middle of the water and never come back. <laughs> Fish yeah, I just got the, and you can see it got one of the horse. Nice little castle. We just, there's a gate. There is an entrance. We saw people walking around here. We just need to find a way of getting in there. Oh, we found the entrance. Yeah. I, had to, I had to do all the work to find the entrance. <laughs> Luckily, there's not too many people here. <gasps> Ooh, but there's a chicken. I'm getting hungry for that white big chicken right over there. <laughs> What's that? Shuts it four. It's Andrew! Andrew! Oh, there you are. <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> there is voice. <laughs> like I said, they make these, this is, made these pretty much made to last. Yeah. I, chi, er, di, u, la, di, wen. Beth Ood Floy Flay Yes, uh, that's the spirit. Ah, or dig un quaf shapu trusan. I answered them all. 
done. <laughs> Luckily, there's not a lot of people here, and most of them seem to be leaving. Except them. <laughs> okay. Now you can say you've been to Ogmore Castle, and apparently there's treasure here. It's supposed to be free roaming for horses today. Yeah, isn't that cool? And apparently this is a playground park too. <laughs> well, we'll have to see. We're gonna walk up here. It rained out here apparently. Certainly a lot of horses around here.
I'll, I'll go around and then we can come back. White horse and mud. Now that's dirty. down in here. kids, hey, let's play, let's play soccer in a castle. <laughs> <laughs> Only in the UK. As it is half terms, I suppose, that's why there's so many in the round. With, uh, we're going to try to go back in a little bit later. Just all of a sudden, people, this is a hangout. Um, we're going to go get some tea. And I wanted to give you another shot of Ogmore Castle. At least I got to do a session in the building over there where there was nobody, but I wanted to go in there where everybody is. Okay, so tell you, Tom. After tea time, everybody has left, the wind has died down, the whole castle area is empty, but there are the river near the people near the river reading. So I got the DVR ready. I'm gonna do more Welsh EVPs. It might all sound the same, but you know. <laughs> Hello, on hi ik chi. Beth U Ik Anu. The following EVP was captured soon after I asked in Welsh, What is your name? We're not really sure what it's saying or if it's in English or in Welsh, but it is low quality and headphones are needed. Beth U Ik Anu. Beth U Ik Anu Beth U Ik Anu The rooster call doesn't count. <laughs> Didn't I heard the rooster? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard that. I chi ud ur ladi wen.
Un fin udik chi nai un fe i chi. Phantom stomach roll. <laughs> That's a reply. Hey, you need to mention it. <laughs> you have to. Wanna, and now I'm hearing, oh my god, it's a demon. <laughs> Suf wa i faf chi fahu. Yes, it's beautiful out today. It's really nice now. It's lovely, isn't it? Now? England weather is like up, I should say, UK weather is up and down. <laughs> it was like yeah. rain. <laughs> Changes by the hour. This is a good one. Beth, wa I thought. Chi er galu for in ura sla. Birds don't count either. <laughs> See, I, I, again. Again. I gotta say that again. I, I... Bef wa i thof chi er galu for in ur sla. Difficult to see you <coughs> times yep. with the sun. Because of the sun? Yeah. I'll go with the. Um, how's this? I might have to do English now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It is 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, I think I could do Celsius. Can I do Celsius? It's 18, I can tell you that. <laughs> uh, whatever. <laughs> if there are any spirits in here, including the lady in white, could you make the temperature go up by doing like this? Like if I do this, it goes up to 89 degrees. 90 degrees, actually. I'm so hot. That's why. <laughs> if the lady in white is here, could you make the temperature go down? I don't know if that's anything. Oh, it, just, well, it was like 60 degrees and all of a sudden it just went down to 44. Interesting. <laughs> Bouncing up all around. Oh, look at this. Can you see it on the camera? 35. Oh, yeah, got it. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> This good quality EVP appears to be a woman trying to say a word, or is maybe moaning. At the time, only Andrew and I were in the castle complex. Outside the castle, ah. and then try it if it. So we're gonna we're gonna test that out. Okay, we are now outside the castle walls. I have to test this uh, heat thing to see if um, might have been anything in that dungeon area. So. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, it's just open air. See, uh, went down to 29. Uh, pity. Pity. Oh yeah, it's open air. I seem to be able to wander around at will here. Don't they? Yeah. Look at that sexy asses.
Well, Ogmore was a success, though. Yeah, it's just nice. It's and we'll see. It. I don't want to walk behind yeah, yeah. the horse. I think it's better than the other cup, isn't it? Yeah, oh yeah. Monktown? Yeah. yeah. And the one that uh, was Castleton, isn't it? Castleton. It just looked more interesting yeah. from what I saw. Yeah. Alright, walk on the other side. I know from when I, taking care of horses, never walk behind them. Because they could just kick your butt. Yes. Kicking your butt, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty horse. Okay. <laughs>